Okay, we're on Moi Katan, Perak Bet Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah on the second chapter of Moi Katan. Another short Mishnah talking about, continuing to talk about the things that a person can do in order to prevent his produce from becoming ruined on Cholomoy, meaning you're not allowed to do work. But we talked about Melechet Aved, things that have become, become lost. So what happens if you're going to lose money if you leave something over Cholomoy? So therefore the person, the Mishnah says, Machnis Adam Perotab Ganavim. A person can bring his, his produce in from the fields, or for, you know, from the fields, due to thieves, because he doesn't want thieves to steal his produce. You have to schlep, it's a lot of produce, if they became ripe. Okay, the Gemara says, Rakati says, the Gemara says, you have to do it as quietly as you can, so people don't see you, but you're allowed to bring all your produce in from the fields, if you're afraid it's going to be stolen. V'sholep pishtano min ha-mishra, yishvil sholo tovat. Sholep pishtano, what does sholem mean? So you're to, to lift it out of the water. I saw, I was looking on the internet, which I teach in Mishnah, and I saw, uh, 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 they said that in ancient times they used to let the, when they would take the flax plant, so they have the seeds, and the flax plant, the way you make linen is you take the flax fibers, you beat them down, you have to let it, you have to wet it, let it dry, beat it down, and then you, you, you know, you like comb it into these fibers that become thread. That's flax, that's linen. Okay, so one of the processes to let it uh, to let it soak, but if you let it soak too long, it will get ruined. So you want to bring it. You can take it out of the water. Be sure it's a tovan as long as it won't be lost. All these things are on the condition that you didn't leave them. Like oh, I'll put it in on the before yantev, and then it'll be ready right after yantev. Great, and then cholamoyed. I can put my stuff out. No, you cannot intentionally intend the chavin intend that you do that. You'll leave the malacha the work on cholamoyed. The kulam and all of these examples, the wine and the and the, and the olives, and whatever, it doesn't matter what. Im kivnu, you leave your fruit out, and say, I'll take care of it on chalamoid. Im kivnu, melachtam b'moed, yavedu. If you did intentionally leave the work to be done on chalamoid, yavedu, then let him get lost. Beitin, ma'abdin oto mama. Beitin says, no, you have to lose money. Rosim otam hefker. It's not that you have to leave them. Beitin itself, according to the Bartunura, will say, sorry, you don't get it anymore. Anyone can come and take this produce. Okay, that's the idea. That's what the Rambam writes. The Rambam writes in Hilchot Yom Tov. Rashi says Yovei means you have to let them go. But the Rambam is much more extreme. We will punish you and say that your property that you left, anyone can take as a punishment for, for specifically leaving your work for Cholomoy. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning. Remember, my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Talman. Have a good day.